Hello, good afternoon and welcome here to Capital White. It's the second of the game here today. It's the Junior A to Prairie Ladies Football County Final between Lockmore and Castellani and Mind Temple too. He, uh Joining me in commentary will be Dervila Morrissey. Dervila, uh, obviously the first game went Feathers way, but this is the game everybody's looking out to see this weekend. It has the makings of a cracker. Yeah, absolutely tomorrow. Um, two very strong teams coming out against each other here today and um, I've no doubt that the to stand here behind us will certainly be full like you know and both, he, both will be getting behind each other you know encouraging each other on so um, I've no doubt yeah it's going to be a very tight game. Yeah like um, obviously a lot more turned them over in the round robin games. Temple Duty were actually they were five or six points up at half time but a lot more got on top of them. We mentioned with the lot more girls during the week in the preview show they were struggling at the start of the year but obviously the players committed to county teams with Camogie and that but they have done themselves back and they've been the farm team in the Junior A Championship. Yeah, no, absolutely, Thomas. And like for a team to be coming straight out of Junior A and coming up into Junior A and competing against one of the strongest teams there is, like, you know, both teams have put in savage work to get here and I've no doubt that they're going to show that out here for us today on the field, what, they, what both teams are actually capable of doing. Yeah, and look, um, looking at uh, Mind Temple 2, the... Three years ago, they were beaten in the county final and they didn't get out of the group. They, they were in a strong position two years ago and didn't make the final. And last year, of course, they had that final won probably three or four times and left it behind them when eventually losing the free-taking competition. Uh, they've been the bridesmaids over the last few years and it's today the final day that they'll probably get married and go up intermediate level. Yeah, it looks to be honest, I... From being like in obviously that junior A competition with them, you'd you'd love to see them come out there because they've they've got the short straw and it's you know you could see how much it, it did get to them and look I'd love to see them do it here today for, for their sake because as you said they've come up so short like to be losing a free take in competition like coming down to the la literally the last kick of it, it it's it's a hard way to lose but yeah I know hopefully it will go their way from today. Yeah, and look, um, just looking at the, the teams, we'll go through the teams uh, in a couple of minutes after the break, but just looking at the matchups here uh, today, like, uh, like Ellen Moore, the last day, she was actually pinpointed. She's wearing 10, she's probably more recognised as a back. She went down back to pick up Sarah Ryan, but uh, she actually didn't have a complaint. Do Ellen bring Ellen Moore back on maybe the likes of Mairead Eviston or Siobhan McGrath, like Eamon McGrath's very strong in the middle of the field for Lockmore as well or um, just let the two midfielders pick up each other and do their own thing. Really. Yeah, I know, it's hard to know to be honest and to be honest I don't think neither teams will stick to their actual positions because as you said you've the likes of um, Ellen Moore who, who's been playing every kind of everywhere and Obviously, you look over here on the other side, and it could be the same way again. Like you can't guarantee that they're going to stay. And you know, I say they obviously they have a few tricks up their sleeve that both teams are going to show us here today. So um, yeah, it'll probably be confusing for us, I suppose, in commentary as well. At the start, we'll see numbers all over the field. Yeah, look, uh, we were trying to find out uh, any changes on the team, and to be honest, the uh, boat management are keeping their cars close to their chest at the minute. Like ten minutes before a county final, it doesn't make a difference if the other team know. Uh, their selections are not either like but uh, we live those and uh, in a couple of minutes and if there's any changes on it as the game goes we'll let you know uh, just before we go to a commercial break Durbla, um, look uh, I said last year Lockmore the squad that they have and the depth that they're after bringing and them girls after coming in they have the potential to play senior in probably four years um, and I t to be honest I'd fancy Lockmore to win this today and but uh, what way do you see it going? I'll get you to call it before we go to a break. Um, look, to be honest, it, it, it's it's something. Look, I know you could call it either way because you'd, it really could it could go anyway here today. Um, what both these teams can play, it's, it's, I think it's just going to come down to the last bit and who who wants it more. But I suppose I'm going to back at my team too because I just want to out of our group as well so we, <laughs> we don't have to meet again next year and get another hiding off yeah. him so, I think I, um, I think Durbel is kind of sitting on the fence now at the minute I know too, I'm like, going to I'm going to I'm going to put it she's to give her opinion but look some people don't like the opinions but look that's what as Lockmore come out on the field there beside us but um, I definitely won't uh, say I know just in case you hear uh, well uh, I don't think they'll be able to hear your microphone and uh uh, as Lockmore do come out there beside us, but um, like, uh, look, uh, we're going to take a break. Um, we'll be back in a couple of minutes uh, with the 
full starting 15s and Tron is, is fast approaching so China's back here in a couple of minutes. Welcome back here to Kappa White, we're almost ready to go here, uh, we're going to start with the teams here and we're going to start with Lockmore Castellani and the goal as selected, Anya Tracy is in goal, Kira Nyland, Anne Eviston and Kira Johnson make up the full back line. Captain Christina Brennan at centre back and she'll be flanked by Maurice O'Connell and Neve Tracy. Maria Connolly and Eamon McGrath are the centre of the field. Siobhan McGrath, Maria Eviston and Ruth Butler are in the half forward line. Full forward line is made up of Aoife McGrath, Noreen Butler and Maria Eviston. So that's the Lockmore Castellani team. We're going to go on to the Mine Temple Tuhi. And as we said, then goal selected as well. Mirren Light is in goal. Cathy Hogan, Neve Butler and Marie Burke are the half back or the full back line the uh, half back line uh, Neve Ryan is centre back and she'll be flanked by Neve Dunn and Anna Daly centre of the field Kira Garman and Ava Ryan the half forward line Ellen Moore Eva Sumner and Roisin Daly and Eamor Butler Eva Shelley and Grania Garman are the full forward line and that's the two teams and uh, the toss is taking place and it looks like the Neve Butler has won the toss and Mind Temple 2 here are going to play from uh, left to right a uh, huge crowd starting to come in here now for this game and uh, if we get updates from the Junior C final uh, that's going on at the moment as well that's also thrown in at, at three, uh, 2 o'clock sorry uh, Golden Clifical and Boerla and Duella we'll give them to you as, as we get them and don't forget tomorrow we have a huge day of football again in Tipperary where the um, where you, we're looking at uh, the senior and intermediate finals in Sean Tracy Parr. Um, uh, we have up first at 2 o'clock Bohrla and Duella and Kappa White and then the showpiece final at the one that everybody's looking to see a repeat of last year's final. It's feathered and... Uh, uh, it's better than Brian Brown. Uh, so we wait now and uh, we have um, just went on the national anthem as the teams get ready. Uh, Ladies, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Ron Levine. Minute to go here in Kappa White. The time for talking is over, and it's time to get down to business here in uh, Kappa White. Mike Duffy is the match referee, one of the best referees in the county at the moment, and that can be seen. He got the senior A last year or last night, and the junior A again this evening. Uh, and you have Seamus Lawler and Rory Kennedy are his sideline officials.
Dublin, we might keep an eye out and see if we've any position to change. As the two teams told us that they're going to select it. All seem to be lining up at the moment in their positions. Mike Duffy just given the signal to our camera crew to make sure they're ready to go. And the 2023 Junior A final is underway. Straight away, it's Ava Ryan. Ryan leading it off to Ema Butler. Butler giving it inside to Roisin Daly. Daly trying to get inside Ema McGrath. Manages to do so. She's facing Neil Tracy. Tracy gets the hand in, but Daly holds on to it. But it's turned over by Christina Brennan. Ema McGrath goes long down the far side towards Shawan McGrath. Been chased down by Neve Dunn. McGrath gets a foot to it, Dunn is tracking back, manages to pick it up and she's fouled, it's a free out to Mind Temple too. He, she goes long towards Ellen Moore in the centre of the field, Ava Ryan is off her shoulder, gives it back to Moore, Moore driving at that defence, lays it off, Eva Sumner, on to Ellen Moore again, Moore, she's up past the D, she's at the 21, Roshi Daly is bearing down, she's gone and it's gone wide, oh fierce and lucky there Dorbna. Yeah, absolutely. Super run is in and she was taking that with speed and she had one thing on her mind, but it just it barely went wide. I see it, it probably even hit off the post there. Yeah, it looks like Temple 2 are sitting there stall out early as that kick out was taken by Anna Tracy down towards Neve Tracy. Tracy is fouled. There's a run being made by Maria Eviston, but she's used as a decoy and she goes long down on top of Maria Eviston and it's got by Ruth Butler. But trying to come out with there was Marie Burke ball goes back to Neve Ryan Ryan comes to this side of the field Aoife McGrath is trying to get onto it she puts her body in front of Ellen Moore she knew what she was doing she got the free they get on with it quickly down towards Ruth Butler but going back there is Anna Daly Daly tries to give it outside but it's picked up and Lockmore have it back Noreen Butler Butler just seeing what's on Super ball across the far side of the field. Neil Tracy has it. Gets inside Ava Ryan. She's been held back. Referee gives the free in. A super ball across by Noreen Butler. Derbla. Yeah, super work there by, or by Lockmore. But were, mine were doing very well there to push them out as much as they can. But it's going to be a lot more free here. And it's it's going to be the first score of the game. Noreen Butler that's going to step up to take it. Lockmore's first attempt at the goal. Butler kicks and it's gone to the left and wide and it's a huge let off there for Mind Temple Duty. Mirren Lade is going to take the kick out. Ellen Moore is roaring for this side of the field. And Super run here by Emer Butler. Emer Butler and she's managed to spot it. There's two players going for the one ball. Kira Garman manages to get it, gives it inside. Neve Ryan. Tries to come out with it. Let's it on to her centre forward, Eva Sumner. Sumner breaks a couple of attackers. The hand comes in for me from McGrath. And she's a player loose inside. That player is Ruth Butler. Butler gives it out to Noreen Butler. And Eva McGrath has continued her run. She's going to turn inside, try and make an angle for herself. Nice she turns it in, and Eva McGrath gets the first score of the game. And Blackmore hit the front. Good pressure there from the Lockmore forwards, not letting Wayne Temple too, he get out with it. Mirren Light goes to far side this time. All hands in and who's going to pick it up? It's going to end up with Mairead Eviston. Eviston lets it off inside and here's Ethan McGrath again. McGrath running at that defence, there was a high tackle there. Referee has the arm up, it's a free in. You can see what Neve Ryan was trying to do, Durbla, just leave the arm in, but Aoife McGrath managed to duck in and draw the foul. Yeah, no, absolutely, she did, she drew that foul, and she's, she's known how to play that smart now, and uh, she seems to be in a bit of bother, I see just caught her around. Cathy Doran is in to check on her welfare, Trisha McGrath in there as well, and looks like Eamon McGrath is going to take the free. And 
Uh, it is Eamon McGrath that's going to step up and take it. Noreen Butler missed the first one. And here's McGrath around the corner. And Eamon McGrath puts it over the bar. Her first score. It's two points to no score. Mirren Lade looking for options. Coming this side towards Ava Ryan. Ryan managed to get it in the hand. Moves in field. Gets away from the tackle of Aoife McGrath. She's under pressure there. Maria Everson put her body in front of it. And you can see the work the, the Lockmore forwards are doing. Durbin. They're not letting Mind Table 2 out with anything. Yeah, no, actually not. They're applying the pressure straight away. Like, and they're getting back in numbers. It's really good. Eva McGrath goes long in towards Butler. Butler. Trying to go around the corner, taking on Neve Butler. Neve Tracy is off her shoulder. She holds onto it herself. Tries to make the angle. And uh, Noreen Butler puts it over the bar. And that's three points for them inside the opening five and a half minutes. And after that quick start from Mind Temple Tooty when Roshan Daly had that super goal chance. And Lockmore have taken over. And they're really putting their stamp on this game early on. Ellen Moore is just down receiving a bit of attention at the moment. Just looking around just to see any movement there. Ellen Moore is back on her feet. And Mirren Lyde will take the kick out and Mind Table 2 you need to win this ball and need to break the first couple of tackles and get that ball up the field. Lyde goes out this side, back to Ellen Moore. Moore ends up on the ground but holds on to it. Ethan McGrath plays the pressure. Catty Hogan trying to come out, turns back to Ellen Moore again. Neve Ryan finds Ava Ryan in the middle of the field and Ava Ryan will go off on the run. Amor Butler uses her as a decoy. But Ryan goes into the middle. Eva Sumner. Sumner driving at that defence. All of the players gone loose inside. It's Grania Gorman. Gorman gives it back to the sister, Kira, And Kira Gorman is fouled. And there's a chance here now for Mind Temple 2 to open up their account. That's yeah, really good work there, Tomas. And you can just even see the speed that mine are carrying that ball at. Like they're driving straight into their defence to, you know, to see how much of it. Like, and obviously now that's after going in, in their favour and winning that free. Eva Shelley will step up and take it. She's able to kick off her left and right. And Shelley, she looks good. And Aoife Shelley gets mine to have a do his first score. And it's three points to one. And that's exactly what they needed. And they're going to need to press on this attack. Anya Trassi coming down this side of the field. Aoife Butler gets a hand onto him, but it's going to break. And Maria Connolly. Connolly gives it inside. Siobhan McGrath drilling it down low towards Noreen Butler. Butler lays it off and there's a chance here. Maria Everston bearing down and goal. She still has it. Takes a heavy hit from Caddy Hogan. And they still have it. Shot comes in from Maria Everston and it's gone over the bar. It's four points to one, but that could have easily been a goal. Third, a super tackle by Caddy Hogan. Oh, absolutely. That's what you're going to get out of Cassie. Like she's just so strong back there, and she's been doing it all year. You just she comes in out of nowhere, and, you, and she's well able to put in a, a, a super strong tackle. Lockmore are really pressing up in the kick out. They have 11 players inside the Temple Tuti half, and they win it again. Siobhan McGrath down the far side of the field, facing Kira Garman. Puts a high ball in across. Neve Ryan is trying to come back on. Oh, it bounces off her. And it's gone out for a 45. And she probably had more time than what she thought, Durbin. Yeah, definitely. And she, obviously, was, she was looking up at that ball and didn't see that she had nobody there around her. But, but there was plenty of defenders there. They probably told her, should have told her that she was safe. Yeah. Even for a 45, McGrath. and they're trying to stop all them runs now. They're yeah. already starting to run. Eamon McGrath is going to take the 45, but everybody is back in the Temple 2 half. There's only three players inside the Lockmore half. 
And this is how why Lockmore are on top at the moment. Ah, oh, super kick for Mima McGrath in around the house. But it just goes wide. Ruth Butler couldn't get the hand onto it. She certainly had the distance on it. On it. And it, was a, it was a good ball in. I thought we were going to be going for a two-pointer there at the minute for when it left her boot first. Yeah, it would, have been, it would have been unreal to see it. You don't see it too often. Ball comes this side towards Neve Dunn. Dunn taking on Eva McGrath. Goes back to Neve Butler. Butler ends up on the ground. And the referee says that she bears into Eva McGrath. Noreen Butler was going to take a quick one. Eva McGrath made a run inside, but Mike Duffy told her to go back. And Eva McGrath is going to have a go at this one. McGrath goes back. Maria Connolly. Connolly into Maria Devson. There's a player loose on the far side of the spotter. Eamon McGrath might find her now. But they still have it. Eamon McGrath driving up to the D. She's as far as the 21. And Kira Nyland is the whole way up from her corner back position. Gives it inside to Siobhan McGrath. Trying to get around Kira Gorman. Ends up on the ground. Eva McGrath trying to burrow her way through. And eventually, Neve Butler is at the back there. Wins the free, but Kieran Island coming the whole way up, and it just show, goes to show the pressure that Lockmore are applying. Yeah, like look, you even have you even have Granny Garman up from Mindy Matui up in the back, and she won that free there. Like it did us, as we said, as I said in the start, like you're going to have them all over the place. Marie Burke goes down, and and Everson couldn't get the hand onto it, and there's a chance here now. Eva Sumner, Sumner getting bottled up, manages to hold onto it, lets it off. Aoife Shelley driving at that defence. She needs runners, but she has to do it all herself. She needs to hold on to it, turns back, seeing what's available to her. And There's a good run here by and Kira Eventually Garman. she goes, but in fairness to Aoife Shelley, she had no options there whatsoever. and She was waiting to see if she had a runner, and nobody was making that run. Yeah, no, she had no runners there. and Kira Garman was starting to make her run, but it was, she had the shot taken, and it was just a bit too late. If we just stop and play for a moment there, seeing I think if a player needed treatment. Uh, like Anne Everson just taking a drop of the magic water. Oh, and the goes long. Down on top of Murray Connolly. Ball bounces. Maurice O'Connor is trying to get onto it. But Connolly still has it. Gives it to Maurice O'Connor. Moving in field. Kira Johnson. Johnson goes back. Eamon McGrath. And Lockmore have runners all over the place. Christina Brennan. And just as I say, she loses it to Ava Ryan. Ryan puts the head down and goes. Gets around Neve Tracy. She needs a runner again. Finds Eamon Butler. Butler just holding it up. And into the middle to Eva Sumner. Sumner trying to go around Kira Johnson. Managed to do so. Neve Tracy is applying the pressure. And Tracy turns it over. And Eamon McGrath is there to pick it up. And she puts it over the far side of the field. And Lockmore will counter. Eamon McGrath positions me nothing. She has 13 in her back. And she's back in the corner back position. Drives forward. And she's been fouled there by Neve Ryan. Referee was playing advantage, goes down towards Noreen Butler, and he's going to bring it back for the free. But you can see it there again, Dervla, after Ava Ryan made the run, and Eamon Butler running off her shoulder, but Temple 2, you had no support there for them two players at all, and the two of them were isolated in the corner. Yeah, I know, it's, that's what's kind of catching them at the minute tomorrow, so it's after happening a couple of times now, and they're going to have to kick on to that one. Maurice O'Connor gives it to Eamon McGrath. McGrath driving down the far side of the field under pressure from Neve Butler. Ball ends up with Noreen Butler, gives it out to Maria Everston. Everston facing Marie Burke, turns back to Noreen Butler again. Neve Tracy has made a great run. Tracy bearing down and goal. Ruth Butler is inside her. Butler gets the shot. And it comes off the Came feet off. of Mirren Lyde. And that could be a huge moment in the game because. Even at this early stage, I had to feel if that went in, that Lockmore would have one hand on the cup. 
Yeah, I know I've seen his horse and cameraman the Twitter's today, Paul Stapleton, uh, of course, a proud mind to have a duty man. Doesn't like the comment. Here's Eamon McGrath again. She went close the last time. She's looking for a runner this time. Goes in low to Noreen Butler. And Butler, is it going to curl in enough? It's not. It's Lockmore's third wide. And Emer Butler is down on the ground now for Mine Temple 2. He's looking for a, a bit of attention. We're midway through the first half. This break and play and might give Mind Temple 2 a chance to regroup. And you can just see it as we look at the big open spaces, like that everybody is inside the Mind Temple 2 half, apart from Aoife Shelley and Anne Everston and Anya Trasty, of course. So that's just the pressure, Durbin, I suppose, that uh, Lockmore have been applying since the start. I know, look, we've said it numerous times, but. It's really the difference between the two teams at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that's obviously something that they knew that they were going to have to do was to apply the pressure on them. And, look, it seems to be working for them at the minute. Um, you know, they're get, they got their four points there um, for in the, within, what, five and a half minutes, you know, one after the other. So There's you know, money spiders for, um, coming in all over the commentary box in here and the press box here today. Uh, Wonder if we're in line for a few pounds, or if anybody wants to give it to us, we'll invite you there, no problem. <laughs> to be nice, to be nice to have it now. <laughs> and Eamor Butler looks like she's not going to be able to continue. That's a huge blow now because she was getting onto a lot of balls, Durbel. Herself and Ava Ryan were linking up well and just went to see who's coming onto the field for her. As the kick goes to the far side of the field. And Neve Ryan lets it off to Ellen Moore. Moore lets it off again. Neve Dunn. It's Lucy Dyle that came on for Eamor Butler. We're number 19. As Ava Ryan picks this ball up. Ryan puts the head down and it goes. Low centre trajectory. On towards Roisin Daly. But Maurice O'Connell was there to intercept. Maria Connolly. Ethan McGrath is roaring for the, this side of the field, but it's turned over. Lee Butler back to Lucy Dial, the new girl in. Butler looking for a runner. And the ball doesn't go to hand, but Grania Garner manages to keep possession. Gives it out towards Ava Ryan. Ryan trying to go around Eamon McGrath, back to Roisin Daly. Daly turns around the corner, and Roisin Daly puts it over. Definitely a score that mine Tommy too he needed and super kick by Roisin Daly and we've seen her doing that all year and I've no doubt this is the first of many that she will score here this evening. On the trash he goes down, but there's nobody picking up even McGrath. McGrath has acres of space to run into. Goes long, quick ball in on top of her full forward line. Noreen Butler is trying to come out, but Neve Ryan got the hand to it. Gives it to Neve Butler. Kira Gorman is at this side if she can find her. And Kira Gorman has it. Gorman looking for a run. And Anna Daly. But it's picked up again by Ethan McGrath. McGrath puts the head down. Still going. Oh, there's a player gone loose inside. Siobhan McGrath. McGrath gets the shot in. Oh, it's going into the top corner. What a goal! And what a goal. That came from Ethan McGrath turning that ball over. A super goal, Durbin. Super goal, like you're not going to be able to stop them ones any top corner. I mean, she put her power behind that one here. Certainly We've seen John that. McGrath, Lee McGrath, Noel McGrath do them for Lockmore and Tip back in the days. And now Siobhan McGrath has added to the McGrath collection of super goals. A 
as the ball comes in and Ethan McGrath has it again. McGrath gets the shot in, but that's not going to curl in and that's going to go wide. really stamping their authority in this final Ellen Moore ends up on the ground gets up again but it's turned over once again Christina Brennan gives it inside Noreen Butler Butler off to eat for McGrath McGrath is making some super runs towards Neve Tracy Tracy looking for options and she's still going nobody coming near her Tracy gets the shot in and Neve Tracy puts it over the bar Neve Tracy's first score, and that's six different scores for a uh, lot more out of their six scores. They have six different scores, so they're all contributing to their blood. Yeah, and what do you mean? That's it. a huge part of it, and it's great to see that there's so many different scores. Kick out goes short to Neve Butler, the captain. Butler jinx past Noreen Butler, still coming forward. Now she needs runners. Finds Neve Ryan in the centre of the field, or Neve, Butler, or Neve Dunn, sorry. Grania Garman, Roshin Daly is ahead of her, Roshin Daly has it, Daly up to the 14, trying to get inside Eamon McGrath, turns back, gets the shot in, oh it's straight down the throat of Anya Trassi though, and Trassi gets the clearance in, and brilliantly taken there by Maria Connolly, and Connolly has it back again, Siobhan McGrath the goal scorer, going down into the corner towards Maria Everston, but Marie Burke comes out with it. Eva Sumner. Sumner. Back to Marie Burke again. Burke getting it in towards Grania Garman, but she was under pressure from Kieran Nyland. And eventually Marie Burke wins the free. And it just shows the dominance Lockmore have when Marie Burke, the cornerback, has to come forward Durbla, and put a bit of uh, pace and inject a bit of speed into that forward line yeah absolutely and oh, she did he kicks that ball in long oh taken brilliantly by Anne Everston though Everston coming out with it trying to find Maurice O'Connell Ellen Moore gets the hand in and manages to intercept it Neve Dunn on to Roisin Daly two he needed inspiration from Daly and Daly still going gets the shot in but it's going to drop oh it hit the corner of it hit the butt of the post I think Durbler did yeah, it and that, could have, that could have easily caught on your trassy out. Yeah, um, absolutely. When the ball's coming low like that, it's, you know, they could go anyway and they could have hit off the inside of the post as well. Could have went in past her, but she goes sharp to kick out. It's out Neve Trassy. Neve Trassy. Trassy drilling it long. Neve Ryan is there. And Ryan comes away. Little tug there but from me or Ethan McGrath, but... Ryan managed to get it down to Lucy Dial, and Dial was fouled by Neve Trassi. And Neve Ryan goes short towards Ellen Moore. Moore giving it in towards Eva Sumner. Sumner trying to drive at that defence. Ends up on the ground. It's picked up by Eva Ryan though. Eva Ryan, shit up to the 14. Gives it back. Aoife Shelley trying to bring it around the corner, but it's another wide, and that's four now at this stage. Both sides with four, four wides. A couple of players just down at the moment, looking for a breather, no doubt. The pace of the game has been unbelievable. As we see, uh, during the break of play, Dorby going around picking up a few feathered flags. No doubt she wants it for tomorrow evening. <laughs> so, su sweet. supporting your neighbours. Supporting my neighbours, and sure enough, I'm kind of half feathered, I just don't say that out yeah, loud. Yeah, well, <laughs> there was rumours Hammer was trying to poach you, alright. I seen him coming up talking to you after the first match. It wasn't what, wanting to know what the score was. <laughs> You'd never be forgiven in Clooney, I suppose, if you went in the road. Oh, I'd never be forgiven, 
as that kick goes long and it's taken brilliantly by Siobhan McGrath and McGrath was fouled That's the pinpoint accuracy of Anya Tressy's kick out you really have to see him to believe him as the kick goes down the far side towards Maurice O'Connell O'Connell she's acres of space to run into as Neve Ryan tries to get back to her Oh, goes in towards Noreen Butler. Oh, lovely little pickup, but she couldn't get it. She managed to do a second time. Goes off the upright. Umpire had his arm up. Ticket it was gone over the bar. And it really um, drove out with that. Kira Gorman. Ellen Moore. Moore. Trying to put him forward. Neve Tracy managed to turn her over. And the Tuohy crowd aren't happy, but. I think Ellen Moore just gave a small little the tug of the arm on Neve Tracy. But that ball goes down quick. And it's Neve Ryan coming down this side towards Lucy Dial. Dial taking on Kira Chanson. Chanson ends up on the ground. Dial still has it. In towards Eva Shelley. Eva Sumner. Grania Carmen has made a run inside, but Sumner has to hold on to it. Lucy Dial again. Dial to Eva Shelley. Shelley gives it inside. Eva Sumner. Sumner goes round the corner and that's just not going to curl in. Lockmore are applying that pressure to mind number two. They're giving them nothing soft. Mine definitely kicking themselves with them weights. The fact that it's a local derby then as well, derby, so many of these players would know each other. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Lucy Dial. Dial has been impressive since she came on. She's getting on a lot of ball. And she's won the free. Ava Ryan has it, but you'd imagine that Aoife Shelley is roaring at her to put it down and she'll go over and kick it. All our notes go flying here. Uh, we're like Paul Jenkins with more notes to, to keep us going. A little information on all the players. Derville was hard doing her research during the week. I was. She's doing a bit of homework. Probably the only bit of homework I've done now in the well, <laughs> here. Well, Special Pat does say that you're not great to study. No, no. Aoife Shelley, is it? Within her distance, she was looking for a runner there. She's going to have a pop. She's caught it beautifully. I just put it over the bear. Super score, but you can shoot. I'll tell you one thing: when when Shelley's on form, she'll absolutely stick and ball between the posts. And her father Joe taught her how to do that on the field in Clannacilly for years. Anya Tracy goes down the far side once again. It's got straight into the hands of Eve McGrath. I don't think. Blackmore, that's one of their kickouts so far. There's a bit of niggle going in on inside off the camera, but we'll follow the player, Aoife McGrath. And McGrath stops. I think she got a knock in the face, is what she's saying. But it was just looking like, I don't know if you spotted it, there was a bit of niggle between Caddy Hogan and Noreen Butler inside. You know, I, you know, I actually seen it, but it was, it was, um, it was actually pure accidental. What happened was, Caddy was. They both went to run at the same time, got caught, and to be fair to, to Noreen, she did. She she picked her up off the floor and gave her a little tap on the back to us to make sure she was okay. And I suppose that's all part of it as well. Like sportsmanship is key, I think, in, in these games as well. Emma McGrath going long, letting it in around the house. Kelly Hogan going back to retrieve it, facing Ruth Butler. Hogan jinking one way or the other. And managed, but Neve Tracy is there to intercept again. Tracy facing Lucy Dial. And getting in along the line. She's still going. Oh, she checks back to another one. Block him in there. And Caddy Hogan managed to get it out to Lucy Dial. 
Dial trying to carry it forward under pressure from Noreen Butler goes back to Neve Butler Neve Ryan coming out with it Ryan trying to find Grania Garman and she's only one player ahead of her so she, she's going to have to run herself she needs more of her smart like she's going to get her Grania run. Garman she's still going she's got 60 yards at this stage and she's no support and they're all standing in the middle of the field nobody coming up to and She's going to get done here. As she eventually it's turned over. and She had absolutely no runners. You, the you mind table to here management all. are going to have to get on to their players. It's a county final at the end of the day. As the ball goes down into the corner to Maria Eviston. Eviston trying to get inside. Gives it back outside to Noreen Butler. Butler from an acute angle. Ah, oh, super score from Noreen Butler. As the clock is in the red. But Dermot, that all started from Grania Garman's run. And she had no support at all. And look, we're approaching half time. And there's going to be a few choice words said in that Temple Tootie dressing room at half time. Oh, absolutely. Like, she, like, you have to commend her for the run that she done covering about 60 yards. It was herself and Eva Shelley inside. And they were both on the, on the same side. But the girls in just stood there looking at her. Like, she, you can't expect a girl to... I mean, they do not know this issue and all the lot more girls are coming straight back on top for like you know you can't falter at all for that like As the kick out goes to the far side Neve Butler trying to come forward playing a captain's role Marie Burke Burke back to Butler again she's up over halfway she's looking to see what's on Ellen Moore is off her shoulder Moore coming forward onto Ava Ryan Ryan right, oh give done, Neve score. done the order the player inside, Eva Shelley! Oh she's missed it! Oh! Oh she's missed it! Darling, she probably tried to be too careful with it and tried to place it instead of just blasting it. Yeah. She tried to place that into the bottom car and I see and I say she didn't realise how far over she was. And that's just gone to the wide and I no doubt that they should be kicking herself. Before over half that. time would be a huge fillip for them. Once again, the kick out straight into the arms of a lot more players. Siobhan McGrath giving it down to the corner. Ruth Butler. Butler going down towards Noreen Butler. But Caddy Hogan is there. Ah, super take from Caddy Hogan. Finds Neve Dunn. Dunn moving forward. Under pressure from Siobhan McGrath. Dunn still has it. Super play from Siobhan McGrath, though, but the ball breaks to Eva Sumner. Back to Ellen Moore. Moore jigs round one player but she Trevor looked for support Ava, Ava Runner Ryan driving at that defence she's still going gets the shot in and it's got over the bar and that's an inspirational score from Ava Ryan you can just hear the white tip of two crowd certainly getting behind the, their girls here now and trying to get them driving on because they've been unlucky with the last couple of Attempts at, I, I, I'm at the goal, but but you can see it once again. Though Maria Connolly is loose, and they're not applying pressure to them. But you can see Dublin when Mind Temple do, do get runners off the shoulder, they're creating problems. But it's just not happening enough. No, no. As Maria Everston comes on, ah, super ball, Butler, and Noreen Butler has her third point. It's one seven to four. Can't be a whole play left now. We're almost three and a half minutes into injury time. Just looking at Mike Duffy. He hasn't looked at the watch yet. I suppose there was a break there for Ian Butler's uh, injury when she had to depart early in the game. Mirren Lloyd looking for runners. Comes this side. To Neve Ryan manages to get it. Ryan onto Lucy Dial. Dial driving forward. Facing Aoife McGrath, trying to get around her. And McGrath just gave her a little push out over the line. There's nobody coming even to take the free. Like Eva Sumner comes eventually. But Kira Gorman has made a run. Eventually she gives it to her. And Neve Dunn was calling for it on the far side. And referee says it was a fair tackle. Goes down into the corner. Marie Everston. Everston and Marie Burke having a right old battle there. Goes towards Noreen Butler. 
Butler going inside. She's already scored three. She's going for her fourth. And that's come wide. Mirren Light just taking her time, seeing what's available to her. Light goes over the far side towards Marie Burke. And that's it, it's half time here in Kappa White. And it's Lockmore who are in the ascendancy. They're leading one seven to four points. But, uh, look, Dervla, uh, it's been all about Lockmore, the pressure that they've been applying. Right. Uh, Temple too, he just can't seem to get out of their half at times. Yeah, I know obviously not to us and they they really they really put it all in there and you can actually just see it all out. Like my Temple Two definitely should have had a have had a goal here on the score sheets, you know, but um missed a lot of their scores and probably not, won't be happy with that, but as you said, even early on, like they won't have to have a serious chat and you know, try and try and get more runners inside because, as you said, when they when they do have the runners off the shoulder, they're well able to do some with the ball, but they're just not getting enough. Yeah, like uh, as you said, like they are too, but they just need to keep doing it. And like you can see them going down into the far corner there now. And look, there could be a few colourful words there at half time. But look, as we said, it's half time here in the 2023 Tipperary Ladies Football Junior A County Final and. It's Lockmore Castellani who are leading on a scoreline of 174 points. We're going to take a break. Uh, stay with us and we'll be back very soon. Welcome back here to the start of the second half. Um, Lockmore leading 174 points. Just trying to see if there's any changes on either team. Can't see anything. Can't see Lockmore making any changes because they'll be happy enough with their performance in the first half. Don't see any changes on either team. From what I can see, Durble, I just see Kira Garman has gone to wing forward. So. Um, yeah, I know. To be honest, I don't see any substitutions either. Just a few, uh, a few positional changes. Um, Roisin Daly has gone into midfield there. Huge second half in store. Wayne Temple too. We'll have to hit the ground running as we get back underway. The ball breaks straight away to Maria Connolly. Connolly lets it off to Christina Brennan. Brennan going low. Gets the return. Brennan gives it inside to Aoife McGrath. McGrath driving forward, gets the shot in. It's gone wide. Just looking there, Dublin as well. Uh, Alan Moore has gone straight over on top of Neve Trassi, uh, trying to stop her moving forward. I suppose. Yeah, and I've no, I, I've no doubt uh, she'll do very well on her as well. She's been playing very well so far, so she'll definitely do a good job on her there. Marie Burke goes down, but it's picked up by Maria Connolly. Connolly into Emma McGrath, Siobhan McGrath, giving it inside. Oh, it's taken brilliantly by Maria Levinson. And Eamon McGrath is true. Oh, there's a player inside. Noreen Butler. Ah, oh, it's gone wide. Oh, she had a super chance. And it's two wides at the start of the second half for Lockmore Castellani. Kick out was taken and it's intercepted by Aoife McGrath and Maria Leviston trying to give it inside but Caddy Hogan is there to pick it up Hogan good ball out to Kira Garman Garman driving forward looking for a runner tries to find Roisin Daly Daly has it in her hand Daly trying to drive forward and Roisin Daly is still going trying to get around Neve Trassi Trassi holds her up Daly has to turn back a oh, super ball. ball to the far side of the field to Lucy Dial, and the bounce just beat her. And Dial will have to go and retrieve it. She has time. Dial goes back to Kira Garman. Garman gives it inside. Eva Sumner 
back to Kira Gorman again, manages to hold on to it. She's under pressure, she's getting bottled up, and the referee's going to do it for over carrying. Kick out goes, and it's gone straight to Neve Dunn, or the free out, sorry. Neve Dunn, and Dunn coming forward. Roshin Daly. Daly trying to take on Aoife McGrath. She bounces off her, she's still going, has to turn back, she needs support. Come on, ref, it's a shout from Mind Temple Tui, but I didn't see a free there. Goes back to Lucy Dial. Dial back to Kira Gorman. Ava Ryan. Ryan still going forward. Puts the head down. She's still going. She needs a player inside. Aoife Shelley has it. Shelley puts it over the bar. It's the first score of the second half. And Aoife Shelley gets it. First second. And I'm just looking, Turvla. Emer Butler seems to be coming back onto the field. And... She went off holding that ankle in the first half and I didn't see anybody doing any work on her. Maybe they did at half time, but she's going off the field and I'm just trying to see who the player is. And it looks like Eva, Eva Sumner. Just going off. Um, I know Eva Sumner picked up a bit of a knock during the week in a, in a Camogie match and unless it could be just playing an effect on her now, but... And the, the linesman is his flag up. And I think was the ball didn't go outside the 21, was it? I'm not sure. I'm just seeing too, there's a change after coming on for uh, Lockmore. And it looks like Emer Scanlon is in. And I'm just trying to see is Kira Johnson doesn't seem to be there. She could have been the player that went off. And I'm assuming that that ball didn't travel and the proper distance because Rory Kennedy in fairness to him had the flag up fairly quickly and can't see what it was for or what he's doing but it was I think the rule Derville is it has to travel 21 yards it doesn't Necessarily have to be outside the 21 yard line. Yeah, it just once it travels, but it, there's a rule if you're on the 21, it has to go outside the D as well. So, unless you're mm. something there, I don't know. But Lockmore have it back. Oh, Noreen Butler's loose right inside. Up. And Marie Burke took a heavy hit there. She got that right inside the head. And she went straight down, and you can see they're into her straight away. Checking on her. It looks like she got the sh uh, shoulder right into the side of the head. And they're saying straight away to make a change. She did take a heavy hit there. Doesn't look like Marie Burke is going to be able to continue. They signalled over to the far side for a change, and I'm still waiting. I don't know if you can see the player warming up on the far side or getting ready. Uh, someone actually does, yeah, straight, or, straight or over there. Looks like somebody's doing a few searches, but she's okay, I think, to play on. Burke is back on her she's feet. On her she's feet. a bit dazed. Well, just, a, just a fair knock to be fair to her so hopefully she'll be alright to continue on Mirren Live goes to the far side towards Neve Dunn Dunn getting it round Eamon McGrath and Neve Butler McGrath gets back and puts the hand in referee gives the free And 
just needs to wait and let a couple of players move forward. Kick goes short to Neve Dunn. Dunn looking for options. Eventually she gives it over the far side towards Lucy Dial. There was a hand in there from Emer Scanlon. Dial manages to hold on to it though. Down into the corner, Kira Gorman. Gorman to and it's Emer Butler. Butler back in from that injury in the first half. Ava Ryan. Ryan. Running at that defence. Trying to go around the corner. She manages to still have it. Picks it up. Gets the shot in. But after all her hard work it goes wide. On the trusty finds Siobhan McGrath in the middle of the field. McGrath just loses possession and Neve Dunn wins it back. Dunn pops it inside. Ellen Moore taking on Emer Scanlon. Moore has to turn back. She needs support. Just four or five lock more players around her. Gets it back to Kira Garm, but it was blocked down by Maria Connolly. Neve Dunn still has it. Dunn gets the shot in. And it's gone wide. These wides are killing Mind Temple too, you know, Dervla. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not going their way really for them. And they've had it quite a lot of them now. And they will certainly be kicking themselves over them. Like. They've kicked eight wides. Kira Johnson. And this is the first kick out that didn't go to hand. And Roshi Daly turned down and goal. Daly! A little nudge there. Ball has gone wide. There was a little nudge by, was it Anne Everston? But that was the first. That was the first time that one of Anya Tracy's kickouts didn't go to a lot more player. Um, Maurice O'Connell is down injured inside the uh, large parallelogram inside. Just checking on Maurice O'Connell to see how she is. We've only had one point in the second half. That was Aoife Shelley's score. As we're now 10 minutes in. Still waiting on... Maurice O'Connell. To take in every precaution possible with her. player warming up on the far side of the field just trying to see Root Butler seems to have gone off and there's a a mind girl as well I think it's Helen Clear that's warming up over on the far side as well uh, Clear uh, Definitely a player that they could do with looking at at this stage. Bit of a strange time for Lockmore to make a change though, Durf, while Maurice O'Connell is still receiving attention. So um, yeah, no, definitely, but look, I see they have a... It's Jill O'Keefe that came in that time. They have um, another girl warming up over on the far side as well. Yeah, it looks like Stacey Maid. And that could be if Maurice O'Connell's not here, we continue.
few supporters in the stand getting a bit agitated, looking for the ref to continue on the game, but obviously you can't when there's a player down injured. And they can start shouting, come on, ref, all day long. When Thornbury wants there's a player injured and the referee has to take every possible precautions with that injured player. It's the welfare of the players that's the most important thing here. Oh, absolutely, Tomas. And look, I know it's going to add a, an extra bit of time, but at the end of the day, if a player gets injured, you know, you have to, have to look and but, get on with it. Supporters, like, tend, oh, yeah. supporters tend to forget that, that this time is going to be added on. Like, so they could stay shouting and shouting and shouting, but at the end of the day, Mike Duffy's main concern at the minute has to be Maurice O'Connell and that she is fit and healthy and a lot more backroom team are in there like Cathy Doran is probably one of the best physios around is going in and, and she's not going to she's not going to leave her there and just walk away because there's a couple of people in the stand thinking that the game should continue like. yeah no absolutely and like the time is going to be added on it's not as if they're you know trying to run down the clock so you need to have a bit of patience like in Player mm. welfare, as you said, it should, it should always come first. So yeah. she seems o okay. I need to play on. O'Connell is, is back on her feet, and oh, and Tracy will hit this kick out. Kick goes towards Shawan McGrath. Emer Butler gets the hand onto it. Eva Shelley trying to bear it forward, and she's being fouled. And. And because Siobhan McGrath now has picked up an injury. And look, to be honest with you, they can stay getting agitated and agitated. And if a player is injured, like, that's the most important thing. Yeah, I know, absolutely, Thomas. And you know, you said if it was going the other way mm. for their team, you know, they'd be. But uh, it's, not, it's not as if the referee isn't going to add on this. You can see him there. He's two watches. Every referee has two watches, and he has game time and playing time. So. Mike Duffy knows exactly how many minutes are to be added on. Like if Temple Tui were a pint down and it was 30 minutes gone and he blew it, they might have a case for that. But he knows exactly what time yeah. has to be blown up. Or like You're probably talking, now we're only speculating, but you're probably talking at the moment there's going to be four or five minutes added on in the second half. Yeah, no, definitely, there will, there will definitely be a bit of time added on, but look. Siobhan McGrath is good to go, and Roshan Daly is going to take the free. Daly. Oh, super ball, Ellen Moore! Moore, there was a hand in, a second hand in, and it was blocked away. And Anne Everston is there to pick it up. Maria Connolly was super defended as that ball goes to Emer Scanlon. Out to Maria Connolly again. But Lucy Dial almost turned it over. Lockmore hold on to it. Neve Trassy. Trassy just puts the head down and tries to break free. Gives it to Ethan McGrath. McGrath coming long. And Neve Dunn does superbly. Ava Ryan. Ryan driving forward. She's Siobhan McGrath, or she's Maria Everson coming back at her. Everson got the hand in, and there was a high tackle by Ava Ryan on Eamon McGrath. And it's a yellow card. It's a yellow card straight away for Ava Ryan. And look, Durville, I suppose, look, well, yeah. look, she'd made a great run through, but she can have no complaints, really. It was a high tackle, so that's yeah, a huge look, body blow now to mind table too. Yeah, absolutely, and look, it's in the rule book, it is an evident high tackle, it's a yellow hair, and unfortunately that's just part of the aim. Yeah, Mike Tuffy was right left thing. with no option there. No. Eamon McGrath gets on with it. Christina Brennan. Will she be lifting the cup in about 25, 30 minutes' time? 
Shins up on the ground, manages to hold on to it. Kieran Island. On to Eamon McGrath again. McGrath. Jersey's been tugged by Neve Dunn. Referee has the arm up. Murray Eviston. It's Eamon McGrath again. McGrath. Oh, they're going to walk it in. Nine Butler. Oh, what football from Lockmore. And. Like, Eamon McGrath there. What play by her, Durban. Yeah, super. Like he, she's been at that all day and sent it in into to no one butter and you you could see what when she buried that into the back of that turn around and just driving on her team again, like super play by Lockmore. Little one twos there and the carves mind temple totally open and it's an eight point game. Leave done. Done, face the knee from McGrath. Lucy Dyle to Kira Gorman. Gorman being held up by Neve Tracy. And Neve Butler. And Butler's getting bottled up there. She seemed to throw that ball basketball style. And the referee says play away and Ellen Moore is fouled. going to be a mind temple duty free. Neve Ryan is going to take it. Ryan trying to find Grania Garman. Garman does well. Gets inside Kieran Island. Gets inside Neve Tracy. She's rushing daily off her shoulder. Garman still going. going herself. Gets the shot in. It's going to drop into the arms of Anya Tracy. And Tracy breaks out. And Christina Brennan drives it long, but Neve Dunn is the player there to pick it up for Mind Temple Tui. And Dunn comes forward. Lucy Dyle is off her shoulder, but she goes into the tackle and she dragged Christina Brennan to the ground. And Eamon Murray comes away with it. McGrath going long. In towards Noreen Butler again. Butler has won three, scored already. Turning around. Little pass out to Maria Eviston. Eviston. Super ball out to Maria Eviston, but the execution wasn't there. Don't know all these money spiders are definitely falling on it. Oh no, they're everywhere. They're absolutely well, there's everywhere. money coming to us somewhere. Mirren Lloyd goes over the far side but Aoife McGrath is there to nip in ahead of Lucy Dyle ends up on the ground Dyle applying the pressure but Lockmore have it back Maria Eviston to Noreen Butler Butler ah look she's a touch of class Noreen Butler that's 1-4 now and it's 2-8 to 5 yeah no super super play by Lockmore again like she just gets that ball and she's just so calm on it and she's, so, she's taking scores. They're, they're very impressive. Ball goes out to Ellen Moore. Moore trying to get round Murray Eviston. And Eviston got the tackle in and it's a line ball on the far side from Mind to Temple Duty. Moore looking for a runner. Neve Butler offers her support. But she's bottled up and Neve Tracy comes away with it. Tracy trying to go around Ellen Moore. Referee is the arm up. The play away. A super ball into the middle to Aoife McGrath. McGrath trying to fight Siobhan McGrath. She gets the pop in and she puts it over the bar. And that's 1-1 one, one now for Siobhan McGrath. And look, it looks like this uh, yellow card of Ava Rains is going to be fatal because that's 1-2 now that they're after kicking. Yeah, I know absolutely, and it just goes to show how much of an um, influential player Ava is like. And it's just looks like it's fortunate, really. And I see that Helen, Claire, Helen Clear, Clear is, is coming, coming on, on from Mind Temple And Maria Lipson like like is going off there for yeah, um, yeah. Lockmore. Ayla O'Connell is on for Lockmore I look, instead of Maria Leviston. And Helen Clear for Kira Garman from Mind Temple 
Hayes Helen clear straight away. Clear. Facing Christina Brennan. Off to Emma Butler. Butler finds Neve Dunn in the middle of the field. Dunn has to carry that ball. Grania Gorman. Gorman still going. A little pass into Roshan Daly. Roshan Daly is fouled. Roshan Daly, that's gone wide again, and these whites are killing him. That's 10 miles now they've kicked today at Durban. Yeah, I know it's definitely not really going their way at the minute for the many. That kick comes out to Eamon McGrath. McGrath, but it's intercepted by Neve Ryan. Ryan gives it inside towards Roshan Daly. Daly trying to take on Maurice O'Connell. O'Connell got the hand in. And Roshan Daly ends up on the ground. I think it's just a head collision. And Mike Duffy telling him to... In fairness, Mike Duffy lays down the law. And there's no uh, RF now this time when the play has been stopped. see some of the feathered senior panel here watching this game heading away and they've seen enough get ready for their huge county final tomorrow as they go to try and retain the crown that they won for the first time last year against Brian Burroughs you can see that game with us at 4 o'clock tomorrow from Sean Tracy Park Little over five minutes of normal time left. And you're probably talking you're probably talking about ten minutes at least left of this game. Don't quote us on that though. We have no board here to show what additional time will be played. There's another substitution coming on for Lockmore. Kira Nyland is going off the field. And Nyland can be very happy with her day's work. And it looks like Aoife Power has come on. Kick goes short to Anne Everston. Everston has time to move it forward. Eamon McGrath. McGrath being chased down by Eamor Butler. Up goes back to Anne Everston again. Maria Everston has made a run for her, but That's she it. goes into the tackle and she barged into her, according to the referee. And he's going to move it up 13 metres. Neve Ryan. Coming up over halfway. And Ryan has to carry it. It's the same old story because they've no runners. Grania Garman. Anthony Ryan again. Ryan. Oh, Helen Clear is roaring for it inside, but it's gone to Roshan Daly. Daly gets the shot. It's gone wide. It's another wide. Uh, Darvla, you spotted it there to me. I didn't see it originally. Helen and Clear made a seven Helen and a Clear five, so was roaring for that ball. Would have been, I nearly would have put money on it if she would have. Put that one in there, like it's all oh, super run. 
there's another substitution coming on. Amy Redden, I think, is coming on. And like Amy Redden is one of the top footballers in the county at the moment, and you're talking 57 and a half minutes and she's coming onto the field. And Emer McGrath is going off. She's Emer Butler. And or, like sorry, Emer Butler, yeah. And there's a push in the back there of Maria Eviston. Like Emer Butler, obviously, she picked up that injury in the first half and they brought her back on, but she obviously wasn't fit to continue as Neve Butler goes back to retrieve that. The referee has stopped play because Caddy Hogan is holding her arm. It's 58 and a half minutes. Neve Ryan or Ava Ryan still hasn't come on. Mirren Light takes the free. Finds Amy Redden and Redden is blocked down. Goes out to Noreen Butler. Ah, Butler shows her class again. That's 1 5 from play. And she's definitely the find of the season for Lockmore, Turbulent. Yeah, absolutely. Like, she, every time she just gets the ball, she just. It's like she knows where the goalpost is and just turns and kicks it. And it's, and they've all gone over the bar for her so far. Uh, Amy Redden. Redden trying to break away from me from McGrath. She was being fouled. The referee's going to move it up. Ellen Moore going down the line, but it's Maria Connolly that's there to pick it up. Trassie. Neve Trassie with a in. super ball. Oh, here's Noreen Butler again. Butler one on one. Oh, she left it behind her. She still has it. Oh, little dink over. And they're waiting on it. And she's going to pam it into the net. And it's another goal. And it's Neve Butler as Ava Ryan comes back on the field. And they're back to their full complement. But they've scored. 2-3 without reply while Ava Ryan was off for them 10 minutes. Seemed like a bit of a lack of judgment there as well. I think they didn't realise where it was actually going and a simple flick in and it ended up then in the goal. And Amy Redden. Redden. She's under pressure from Aoife Power. Turns back. Anna Daly gives it this side to Helen Clear. Clear. Face an Eamon McGrath. And McGrath still holding her up, but Clear managed to get the shot away. But it's another wide. Clock is in the red, but as we said, there's been a lot of stoppages, so you could be talking about six or seven minutes to go. We're not 100% sure. Anya Trassi finds Anne Eviston. Aoife McGrath. McGrath driving forward. Oh, she bounces off Neve Ryan. And she has options left and right. Goes to the left. And there's a shot coming in. But it's gone wide. It was Jill O'Keefe, but he's going to call it back for the free. And a super run from... Aoife McGrath there at Durbley. She probably travelled about 60 or 70 yards. She bounced off Neve Ryan as if she wasn't there and just showed her strength. Yeah, absolutely. Like, as you say, covering 60 or 70 yards easily. Like, if not even, it could have been more. And, uh, yeah, bounced off Neve Ryan, but bringing it back to the free and it's Noreen Butler. And she just. can do it from play. And she can do it from the freeze as well. And Butler has 2 6. I think Louise Butler is after coming on there for um, Mind Temple 2. Lucy Dyle seems to have gone off. 
and I think it was Louise Butler that I saw coming on there. As the ball comes back this side, but it bounces and it's picked up by Grace Cummins, but eventually it goes out over the line. It's a lot more ball. Cummins goes back to Eamon McGrath. McGrath. She's still going, looking for options. Goes over the far side, but it's picked up by Grania Garman. Garman driving at that defence. Comes this side to Eva Shelley. Shelley facing Neve Trassi. Seeing what's available to her as she decides to take on Neve Trassi. Trassi uses her strength, gets the hand in. It's going to be a free. And Eva dances up and down on the ground because she'd no runner for her. And to be fair, she's no runner. She's still no runner, like. It's a county final, like, and it goes straight to Grace Cummins, and this is what's let Mind Temple 2 down all day. Marie Burke. Burke onto Neve Dunn. The hand comes in from Christina Brennan, and no doubt she's going to be lifting the cup in a couple of minutes. Last oh, super ball, Ailish O'Connell. O'Connell, still going, seeing what's available to her. Goes into Noreen Butler. Butler trying to find Maria Eviston. And Eviston has it in the corner. Noreen Butler's made a run for her again. And she's going to have a pop. And she's going to put it over the bar. And it's yet another one for Noreen Butler. Two seven, a two six from playing a county final, Dorvla. It's yeah, unbelievable. It's, it's phenomenal. Like it's just it, the way she plays her football is, uh, it's it's class. It's absolutely class. Neve Ryan. Two. He looking for a couple of consolation scores at this stage. They've been completely outclassed. Roshan Daly going down into the corner towards Grania Garman. Christina Brennan got a hand onto it. Garman has it. She has a free coming. She might need it. Aoife Shelley. The Shelley in towards Helen clear. 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 Ah, oh, super hand. But there was a super hand in there. I think Aoife Power. But he's going to bring it back for the original foul. And Aoife Shelley is going to take it. Shelley with their only score in the second half. It was early in the second half. And she's going to put this over the bar. It's Aoife Shelley's third point. Anya Trassi is going to take it and there's another substitution coming on for Mind Temple too. He, uh, Marie Burke is going off and Blonnet Lloyd uh, is coming on Blonnet Lloyd is coming on Anya Trassi putting it down to, uh, it's picked up by Christina Brennan Neve Trassi Trassi going down this side Blonnet Lloyd got the hand in and it's been brought out there by Louise Butler. Butler going down towards Ellen Moore. Ava Ryan trying to get onto it. Ellen Moore is there. Gets there ahead of Eva McGrath. Flicks it up to Ava Ryan. Or it was Maria Connolly that was there. Connolly got a hand in again. Ava Ryan. Ryan down and Maurice O'Connell is there to pick it up. Grace Cummins tried to pick up that, but Neve Ryan was there. Gives it in towards Roshan Daly. Helen Clear. Clear. Trying to go one way and the other. Trying to get outside Eamon McGrath. Goes back. Amy Redden. Redden up to the line. Goes low across the goal. And Anne Everston is there to pick it up. And Everston gets the clearance in. Grace Cummins. Cummins taking on Aoife Shelley. Fly kicks it along the ground towards Ailish O'Connell down in front of us. 
taken on Blonded Lloyd. O'Connell still has it. Neve Trassy is there with her. Trassy, ah, super ball down towards Noreen Butler again. Butler, sparing down the goal. Off the left, she can do it on both feet. And it's 2-8 now for her. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that, to be honest, Moss. Uh, I'd, I'd actually sit back and watch her all day play football. That is, she's just so chill about it. It's just, oh, it's unreal. <laughs> I wonder if Peter Creedon and them are looking at this. That's a player definitely worth looking at. 100%. Neve Dunn goes down towards Roshan Daly. And Roshan Daly was fouled. Well, like look again, like they've no more runners. She's yeah. more runners off her. And, like, there's somebody should have made a quick run there and for a scoring chance, but now they're giving Lock more every chance to get back and defend it. Like. Um. Helen Clear is making a run inside in fairness to her as she has shot for the ball since she came in but that ball goes back to Neve Dunn Dunn coming forward and the hand come in but Dunn holds on to it gets the kick away but it's a nameless kick and it's Neve Trassie that's there referee Mike Duffy has looked at the watch Trassie just balloons it out to the far side, Ava Ryan has it. We've just gone into nine minutes of R Ryan. overtime now. And she's fouled, but in fairness, like there was. And it's a yellow card. A, a yellow card for um, Aoife, Aoife McGrath. McGrath. And probably the only plot in her copy book all day because she's been absolutely superb up and down that side. Superb, look, as you said, uh, McDuffie's probably one of the best referees out there. and playing it by the, by the rule book and look at a high tackle is a high tackle and it's a yellow card and he done the right thing again. And it's just two minutes, two minutes left and that's what he's saying. we're already ten minutes in over. In fairness line. like there was a lot of stoppages and we said it when, during them stoppages that that this would all be taken into account. Eva Shelley right on the edge of the D. And not none for and just a high ball inside. Helen Clear! Oh, oh it's got in! It hit the post and it came back and hit her. And Helen Clear with the goal. Uh, it was coming though, Tomas. She's making. Well, in fairness to Helen Clear, since she came on, she showed for balls there all day long. And yeah, absolutely. And since she came on, and she's been shown making them runs and. She probably gets her just rewards. So there's another player down injured now. I didn't actually see what happened there. I think it was when the ball came in. I'm not 100% sure. It's Neve Butler that's in there and Claire Shelley taking every precaution with her. I suppose look Durbler we're deep in injury time now at this stage and can't be a t oh, much left. I suppose look um, we're going to have to pick a player of the match of this at the uh, county final here and I'm going to leave the decision in your capable hands. <laughs> Uh, uh, to, to be honest, Moss, it's probably no doubt you probably agree with me, but I'd have to give it to um, Norman Butler. <laughs> like, yeah. well, she's after scoring 2-8, um. 2-7 of that from play, like one off the left and all, and just her, the running she's been making, just her, her um, skill on the ball has just been phenomenal. So Norman Butler is the 2023 Tipperary Ladies Football Joan Red final man of the match as the game is over our player of the match there and getting a little nudge there so 
as the game is over and it's uh, Lockmore who have won out on a comprehensive 3-13 to 1-6. Uh, Luke Dervla uh, delayed a marker down early on. Um, Roshan Daly had a goal chance within maybe 30 seconds but delayed a marker down to Condona got a score and uh, straight away and they just pushed on the on the Mind Temple 2 he kick out and they're pushing 12 and 13 players up and they laid the marker down and they laid the foundations for the victory in that first half yeah absolutely Tomas and you know like as I, we said early on it before the game you know it's it's going to come down and who, of who wants it more and from the very start of this game Lockmore just came out there, you know they're gathered in groups up and down the field and you know you have to commend them for that they were not letting any easy ball into my table to his hands and they showed it, that out there, you know. Um, from the start, it was super work rate, and look, they were definitely deserving winners out, out there today. Yeah, look, I suppose uh, Mind Temple 2 were slowly coming back into it there in the second half, uh, but uh, Yellow Card from Maeve Ryan, and uh, while she was off, uh, Lockmore hit Tuohy for 2 3, and there was no coming back after that, really. Yeah, I know, I've seen us, um, you know, they. They used that in their advantage, definitely. And as you said, they scored 2-3 with no reply when she was sent off. And look, it, it just goes to show that she was she had an impact on the field out there for the girls. And look, it was a misfortune one. But as you said, McDuffie played it by the rules. And it was the fairest decision that he could have done. But um, no, you have to give credit to, to Lockmore. They were deserving winners out there today. And look, I know it's heartbreak again for my time to be here and for another year. But look... You have to commend them for the year that he had. You know they definitely have played some excellent football throughout the year, but just just couldn't uh, put it up to Lockmore today. Yeah, look, uh, stay with us. Uh, we're going to have the presentation coming up. We're going to try and get a bit of reaction from uh, Jubilant Lockmore team there as well and their camp. So stay with us. We're going to have the presentation here in a couple of minutes. You're all very welcome to Kappa White here today um, for our Junior A final. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Kappa White for hosting our games here today. Um, everything was in great condition and really appreciate uh, making their facilities available to us. I'd like to thank our uh, Comida, our senior team sponsors and adult championship sponsors, David Anchel and our team. Uh, they are really good and brilliant supporters of Tipperary Ladies Football, which we really appreciate. I'd like to thank our fixtures and executive committee for organising the competition, running it off with seven finals over three days this weekend. And I'd like to thank Mike Duffy and his team of officials for facilitating today um, and um, for on the game. I'd like to compliment both teams on a great game of football, uh, local rivals, um, and uh, um, hard luck to Moin Temple Tui. Um, no doubt your, do your, your day will come. Um, for Lockmore Castellani, coming from winning Junior B last year onto Junior A this year is a great achievement. And uh, we'll now go on to represent Tipperary and Munster. So we wish them best of luck um, in their endeavours there. So um, without any further ado, I'm going to present the cup to Christina Brennan. <laughs> Michael Towey hands over the cup to Christina Brennan. Lockmore Castellani are 2023 Tipperary Ladies Football Junior A County Champions. Um, if Eamon Brennan was here, I'd have to start with the cupola focal, but there'd be no Irish about Eamon, so. Um, I'd like to start by thanking Kappa White for the facilities here today. They were top class. The girls never had as many toilets in a dressing room as the five we had inside. 
And to the referee, I think he did a very good job, a very fair job, and to his officials as well. To Temple Tui, we've all, all of us here have experienced the hurt that you're experiencing today, and it's not easy, but you'll come back stronger next year if you stick together and you stay fighting. Three cheers for Temple Tui. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! To the people um, that got us here today, to the cottage in Lockmore who fed us for the last two weeks, the girls are light with sandwiches, um, to Andy and Sean, um, for Fizio and to Cathy today for keeping us held together. Every little bit helps and all the tape was worth it. Um, to our management, uh, Ashling, I think you kept, the lads, you kept the lads calm and collective as much as you could. It was a tough task. <laughs> Eamon, top class as usual. You take us, you take us training. You have, all, you have it all planned out. You switch it up all the time. It's never the same. And you're not afraid to push us. You know there's more in us. Stephen. <laughs> Katrina's okay, she's still intact, there's no need to worry. <laughs> I know, you put up a lot from us this year. Any problems we had, we went to you with it, and no problems at all. Anything we needed, you were positive, you got everything done. Anything we asked for, you, you want to give it to us and more. So thanks a million, and thanks for getting us here. There's a few girls that decided to take maternity leave this year. <laughs> and at the start of the year, you know, we weren't a bit impressed, but they all had roles to play. Trisha McGrath, you stepped up to badge and you kept the lads in tow as well. Katrina, all the girls, all the girls have been there all the way. They've been bringing on water and they've been still a part of the team. There's a few girls that are missing today that were with us at the very start of the year and they're all gone traveling. They decided to go away on holidays. So to the girls that are gone away, you're still as much a part of this win today. You trained with us at the very start of the year and you trained with us last year. Um, and our support is missing here today as well that are gone to weddings and stuff. Um, a big happy birthday to Anya Trassi. I think, I think Anya, I don't think you could have asked for a better present. Um, to all the little people and all the supporters, they've taken the cup, but like, you're looking up to us, you're looking up to the lads, and someday you'll be here as well. To the lads in the club, you may not get these jerseys back. <laughs> the girls, the girls love them. To the girls behind me, what, what do you say, like? <laughs> the positivity this year, the work rate, the work rate was immense. You gave everything that was asked of you and more. You, you, put, you made sacrifices, you got your recovery in, you came back from having babies, everything. Um, so what more can you say? You're some, you're some bunch. Well done. This cup. <laughs> Lockmore Castellani and Boo! more are the champions uh, stay away we're going to try and get some reaction now coming up as Lock more sing happy birthday to their keeper on the Trassi who had a super game the kick outs were absolutely exceptional of the match, uh, Noreen Butler. Noreen, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. We were saying in uh, commentary there, uh, you really pushed up at the start and laid your marker um, on the Mind Table 2 kickouts. Yeah, no, we knew we had to put pressure on them. And like, you know, Tim 2, they're a great team, sorry. 
they're a great team and look at um, I suppose we came on top to, out, out on top of today and we're delighted like we're delighted with the win so yeah and look um, uh, they were slowly coming back into it in the second half but Ava Rain she had a care G-Man has scored 2-3 without replay while she was out and it was probably the winning and the losing of the game then yeah that was a massive turning point alright um, sorry the girls they worked so hard we knew of course like when they were one player down that we needed to drive on as well that was our chance to drive on so thankfully it worked out for us and we got the scores and the girls worked so hard up and down the pitch like you know so it was great to get the result yeah look I know you don't um, like uh, single and out uh, but 2-8 uh, 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 2-7 from play uh, it's stuff of dreams for our players really in the county final there. look at it the girls up the pitch did all the work you know so you know it was great to, to get the, get on the ball and get the, the opportunity to take the scores and look lucky for me they came off they could go either way <laughs> yeah and Munster Championship next weekend it's a new venture again for Lockmore Castellani that's right yeah we're up against the Cork champions I think and look at that's going to be a massive test for us as well and we have to prepare now for that uh, from tomorrow so look at it's going to be a massive tester and please God and you know we'll be up for it well I've shown you my prepare Monday or that no I'll let you enjoy the next couple of days <laughs> look there's photos going on over there we'll let you go Thank enjoy you. congratulations Noreen uh, that's Noreen Butler there the um, player of the match from today and uh, as we said like 2-8 uh, 2-8 uh, there today 2-7 from play absolutely phenomenal and uh, the performance that she gave was absolutely exceptional. And uh, it taken a look as well. Like uh, tomorrow, don't forget to be with us tomorrow. Oh, we've two huge finals coming up tomorrow. We have uh, at two o'clock in Sean Tracy Park the intermediate final. Brian Bruce and Kappa White. Kappa White might be full here today. It'll be empty tomorrow as the whole of Kappa White. Uh, converge in Sean Tracy Park for that Titanic battle and then at four is the showpiece final it's Feather and Brian Baruz a repeat of last year's final and the dramatic uh, finale that year Brian Baruz are severely hurt over the last two years dramatic uh, defeats but uh, look they're going to put the shoulder to the wheel tomorrow uh, as we said all week if we got half the excitement that we got in last year's final we're in for a super game uh, Join us for them. Thanks for all being with us today. Um, as we said, like if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, as we go live tomorrow for them two games, you'll get a little notification on your phone. So it costs absolutely nothing. Uh, thanks for all being with us today. And for being with us, thanks for Durville Morrissey on co commentary, uh, Paul Stableton on the camera. And uh, we'll talk to you all again tomorrow.